From the I-Team tonight, a troubled Atlanta neighborhood is trying a remarkable approach to win the war on drugs, love. Instead of locking up heroin dealers identified by police in the English Avenue neighborhood, law enforcement and community leaders are giving them one final chance to turn their lives around. Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis was there and he saw something pretty extraordinary. Randy? That's right, Chris and Lisa. Listen to these numbers. 200 Georgians died of heroin overdoses last year. 247 in Fulton County already this year. Clearly, it's time to try something bold. It was an invitation only event, front row seating, free of charge. At first, um, I didn't really know what to expect. I thought it was a trick. And I expected to come here and go to jail once I got this paper. But God is good. 14 people showed up at Lindsay Street Baptist Church after getting this letter from the Atlanta police chief and the U.S. attorney, telling them they've been identified as a heroin dealer. But they had one last chance to stop and get help before facing a brutal future in the federal system. I'd like to ask everybody here who is here to try to help these young men. Would you please stand up now? I want you to look around, fellas. Well, I just want you all to know that I got your back. You choose to walk with us, we walk with you. All 14 sat facing pictures of suspected heroin dealers already in federal custody. They watched what cops said was undercover video of them selling heroin. It's all an attempt to sweep through what's considered the biggest heroin market in the southeast. Clean out the dealers, scare away the customers. Finally, for good. I have been in law enforcement for 43 years, and I have never seen heroin dealers be given an opportunity to redeem themselves the way that you are getting now. Instead of handcuffs, you got a big old hug. I got a tremendous hug. He's 48, lives in Gainesville, and is grateful for what he heard inside. Some people that deal in, 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 in drugs or street activities is once you do it for a certain length of time, it becomes addictive. This concentrated effort to go big in English Avenue comes two years before the billion dollar Falcon Stadium opens for business. Vine City is the closest neighborhood to the dome. English Avenue is a mile away. The Falcon Stadium, does that play any role in the government's efforts to finally do something over there in that neighborhood? Actually, no. I mean, this has been a long-term project for us. I'm going to jump on it. Now, and I appreciate the community, you know what I mean, for coming out, you know, standing up for us, fighting for us. So how do you make the area known as the bluff drug free? Authorities are targeting the troublemakers who could benefit from intense job training, drug rehab, housing or mental health assistance. And they're getting all of those offers free of charge. If they just take the government up on this deal. But everyone's told me this is just the first step of a very long process to try to clean that place up. I was going to say police investigators will tell you drug dealers are resilient. So what can be done to prevent that from starting from scratch all over again? Yeah, well, I asked him, I said, what happens if another group just sort of moves on in? And, uh, you know, John Hoare told me that the, 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 what they're going to do is they're going to make sure that the people in that community know that if they see more crime taking place or fresher drug dealing taking place to call APD immediately and they'll be out there immediately. They're, this is their number one priority is to try to make sure that they can clean out the, the mischief, the troublemakers, and let that community thrive again. Has their undivided attention. Absolutely. All right. Randy, thanks. Okay, thank you. Well, 